Welcome to the Dublin Writers' Room at Hedigan's, the Brian Baru. There has been a public house on the site of Hedigan's, the Brian Baru, for over 200 years. However, the association of Brian Baru, High King of Ireland, goes back nearly a thousand years, as it was here that his army camped prior to his victorious Battle of Clontarf, fought on Good Friday 1014. The present building dates from the 1850s, with the façade virtually unaltered since then. In 1904, Patrick Hedigan, a native of Galbally, County Limerick, purchased the Brian Baru. The pub has long been something of a landmark, famous as a venue for meals and refreshment following funerals in the nearby Glasnevin Cemetery. Indeed, the Brian Baru is mentioned in Ulysses as Joyce's party of mourners pass by on their way to Glasnevin Cemetery. The Dublin Writers' Room is a quiet and comfortable place for you to enjoy the rich and diverse literature of Dublin within the historic and welcoming surroundings of Hedigan's The Brian Brew Bar. So sit back, relax and choose from a variety of extracts from world-renowned Dublin playwrights and novelists, read and performed for you by professional actors on location in Hedigan's The Brian Baru and around Dublin City. We married in 1880, and our son James was born in February of 1882. Our early years together were very happy. The house was always full of music. I would accompany John and the children while they sang. John would sing Ma Paris from Martha, especially for me. And together we'd all sing some of those lovely old drawing room songs. Silence they drove along Fibsborough Road. An empty hearse trotted by, coming from the cemetery, looks relieved. Cross Guns Bridge, the Royal Canal, water rushed roaring through the sluices. A man stood on his dropping barge between clamps of turf. On the towpath by the lock, a slack tethered horse, aboard of the bugaboo. Their eyes watched him. On the slow, weedy waterway, he had floated on his raft coastward over Ireland, drawn by a haulage rope past beds of reeds, over slime, mud-choked bottles, carrion dogs, Athlone, Mullingar, Moy Valley, come as a surprise, Leakslip, Clonsilla, dropping down lock by lock to Dublin, with turf from the Midland bogs. I, I couldn't really see. Baldoyle or Kilbarrick. It's just that I knew they were there. So many belonged to me buried in Kilbarrick. The healthiest graveyard in Ireland, they said, because it was so close to the sea. And I thought I could see the tricolour waving over Dan Head's grave, which I couldn't from ten miles over the bay. Passport, travel permit, or identity documents, and an immigration man beside me. I, I handed him the expulsion order. He read it, looked at it, and gave it back to me. He had a, a long, educated countryman's sad face, like a teacher. And he took my hand, gave me the fortress of while you wrote. A hundred thousand welcomes home to you. I smiled and I said, 
Karamaha goes. Thanks. He looked very serious and tenderly inquired, Kaiga will shake a hoot of fair, sir. Kaiga will. It must be wonderful to be free. It must, said I. Walked down the gangway past the detective. I got on the train for Dublin. 